Welcome once again to Ali Cliver Accounting. Okay, in this uh, lesson, we are going to be dealing with some of the challenging adjustments that you will confront as you are answering questions in the examination. Maybe you can be doing the income statement, it can be the balance sheet, or it can be anything like that. These are some of the adjustments that they are including in most of those financial statements. So I'm going to be showing you how to do those calculations so that when the examination comes anyway you will not find yourself anyway struggling so i've picked up director's fees i've picked up bad debts i've also picked up insurance i've extracted these questions again from the manual from that manual for learners activities so i hope they'll be fruitful you'll be able to learn something maybe that you did not know before okay so we are going to start with the director's fees on A. Here they are saying that the director's fees that are given is 497,800. The company has three directors who earn the same fee. One director was paid two months in advance. Okay, so there is an amount that is in advance that we want. We need to calculate it. So let's find out exactly how do you do this calculation. How many directors do we have? Three. This money is money that was given to the three directors. And in this money, there is also money for two months extra for one director. Are you understanding that? Okay. You also give yourself time to read again the question so that you can understand as I do the calculation. All right. Okay. So it is like this. So the director's fees that are given for the three directors, it's 400, 497,000 and 800 so in other words i'm going to say is equal to money for how many months there are three directors is it this money is per director per year is it okay so how many months are there in a year there are 12 months is it okay fine so i'm going to say three directors multiplied by 12 months it is going to give me how many months 36 months okay for three years i mean for three directors in one year we have worth this 36 months okay but there's one director who is having an advance two months in advance so to mean that this 497,800 it is not for 36 months but for how many months we are going to add another two months it's for 38 months 38 months 497,800 is for how many months 38 months the reason why we're doing this calculation we want to find the prepaid expense we want to find that money that was paid in advance so then how do we find the money for the two months so it's simple now we come here to say 497,800 multiply by how many months do we want two months over this money is for how many months 38 months okay so if you go to the calculator you do this calculation you are going to get something like 26,000, 26,200. It is the money for the two months. Okay. So this 26,200 is indicating what? The prepaid expense. Okay. What do we do with the prepaid expense? Prepaid expenses are always subtracted, is it? So we are going to say 497,800 minus. 26,200 is actually going to give us something like, let's go to our calculators, of 400 and 471,600. Okay, so this is the money that we'll record for our director's fees. I hope you have fully understood these calculations. I'm going to do another one again on B. Okay, B is saying director's fees that are given is 736,000. The company has two directors. Each director receives the same monthly remuneration. One of the directors did not receive this director's fee for one month. How many directors do we have? Two. We'll do more or less like the same calculation. This is A. This is part B. Okay. Director's fees. Director's fees for part B. Okay. The amount that is given there is uh, 736,000. 736. Thousand. It's for how many directors? It's go to two directors times 12 months. We know that it will give us 24 months. Okay. 
But here they said, okay, one of the directors did not receive this director's fee for one month. So to mean that this money is not for 24 months, but it's for how many months? 24 minus one month, which is equal to 23 months. The money is for 23 months because one of the directors did not receive money for one month. Okay, so now we want to find out how much is that one month, the accrued expense. We are looking for the accrued expense. We are going to say 736,000 multiplied by 1 over 23. It's going to give us something like 32,000. 32,000, 32,000 is the money that is accrued. Accrued expense, okay? This is our accrued expense. 32,000. What do we do with an accrued expense? We open our bracket here. 736 plus 32,000. Okay. Is equal to. It's going to give us something like 768,000. 768,000 is the money for the director's fees. That is all for the director's fees. These are some of the challenging adjustments that you should expect. And I hope you have fully understood my calculations. Thank you.